Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Greg. And today we have a special episode for you, our St. Patrick's Day episode. We're here in an Irish bar in Querétaro, Mexico. And you may think it's strange that there is an Irish bar in a small Mexican town like Querétaro, but there is a very strong connection between the Mexican people and the people of Ireland. Today we want to tell you a little bit about the history and the story of bravery and heroism that connects these two countries. We want to tell you about the St. Patrick's Battalion or Los, Los San, San Patricios. The United States annexation of Texas in 1845 was the primary cause of the Mexican-American War. Although Texas had claimed its independence from Mexico a few years earlier, the Republic of Texas was never acknowledged by Mexico, who still considered Texas Mexican territory. The U.S. president at the time, James K. Polk, was an advocate of manifest destiny or the belief that God had ordained that the United States should control all of the North American continent. He was also a slaveholder and understood that if Texas were to join the Union as a slave state, there would be a shift in the balance of power toward the slave-holding South and away from the free Northern states. During this period, Irish immigrants came to the United States fleeing English racism and economic injustice resulting in the Irish potato famine. Irish immigrants joined the U.S. Army in order to gain a path to citizenship. After their inscription into the army, these Irish immigrants were sent west to fight in what would ultimately become the war with Mexico. These Irish soldiers immediately noticed that what the United States was trying to do to Mexico mirrored their own experience at home with England. As Catholics, the Irish had a religious connection to Mexico and disliked the idea of being sent to kill fellow Catholics by the largely Protestant U.S. Army. Led by Captain John Riley, approximately 800 soldiers abandoned the U.S. Army in 1846 to join the Mexicans in their fight against the United States. To the Mexicans, they were considered heroes and called Los San Patricios, the St. Patrick's Brigade, or Los Colorados because of their red hair. Eventually, they got another nickname too, and we'll tell you about that one in a little bit. The San Patricios were fierce fighters who knew they would be put to death by U.S. troops if they were captured. Knowing their fate, they refused to surrender and were responsible for large numbers of casualties to the U.S. armed forces. Mexican General Santa Ana said that if he had a few hundred more men like the San Patricios, Mexico would have won the Battle of Churubusco and ultimately the Mexican-American War. But Mexico lost the war and had to cede half of its land to the United States. Captured members of the St. Patrick's Battalion who deserted the U.S. Army before the war was officially announced had their faces branded with the letter D for deserter. Those who left the U.S. Army to fight for Mexico after the war was announced were considered traitors and hanged en masse. Over a two-day period, the U.S. Army lynched 50 members of the St. Patrick's Brigade in what is considered to be the largest lynching in U.S. military history and an example of national intolerance for the Irish. Mexicans honor the San Patricios, or St. Patrick's Brigade, with celebrations on September 12th, the anniversary of their lynching by the U.S. Army, as well as March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. In San Angel, a suburb of Mexico City, a plaque lists the names of the Irish San Patricios who died while fighting to prevent United States domination of Mexico. In honor of John Riley, every year on September 12th, the town of Clifton, Ireland, flies the Mexican flag. And in the Coyoacan neighborhood of San Diego, some of the streets are named in honor of the Irish heroes of 1847. And a plaque outside the Museo de Intervenciones, which was the site of the Battle of Churubusco, honors the bravery of the San Patricios. We fought them in five major battles. Churubusco was the last. Overwhelmed by the cannons from Boston, we fell after each mortar blast. Most of us died on that hillside. 
outside at the service of the Mexican state. So far from our occupied homeland, we were heroes and victims of fate. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion and we fought on the Mexican side. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion and we fought on the Mexican side. So Greg, tell us the other story of the nickname that was given to the San Patricios. The legend goes that this battalion would sing a song while they were marching. I'll sing you one no green rose the rush is on. What is your one no? One is one and all along and evermore shall be it so. I'll sing you two oh. Green rose the rush is on. What is your two? To the lily white boys covered all in green. The Mexicans began to associate the sound of the words green grow with the soldiers, and the soldiers themselves soon became the green grows or gringos. There are other origin stories of the term gringo, but we like this one the best. So today we raise a glass to the Irish. We hope you've enjoyed today's St. Patrick's Day episode. If you have, please give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thanks for being here.